Hi, what's up? How is it going? In today's video, we are going to be designing the uh, inner page of a magazine in which uh, I have, done, I have uh, designed the cover prior to uh, this uh, tutorial. So, this is the inner layout that we are going to focus on right now. We are going to design, you know, some few pages out of the magazine. So, without further ado, let's step into it so right now let's go over just make a copy of this just like so because we are going to make use of uh the this you know uh 40 anniversary reunion and all of that and their logo so let's step into it so right now to add a page the right page you just have to you know click on this plus right here can you see it hit that automatically it creates a, a new page for you so what we're going to be doing now is to change the pair to a 4 which is the normal size if we duplicate it we're going to have a uh, a3 side double of a4 is a3 so right now we're going to focus on this uh, a4 so right now head over to uh, what they call rectangle 2 that will click automatically snap into the page so the first thing we need to do right now is this uh, document that have been sent to me by the client so let's head over to uh where it's been uh you know kept so let's go over and just look for other file you know actually it was in a new folder so so here it is so right now let's just uh open this zero at first zero program we have two files right here two documents that we are going to play around with so let's right click then open <laughs> let's wait a while for that to initiate we are going to copy the whole thing so let's go back again open so this is the document so right now what we needed to uh, lay out for us is the what's it called the program itself this is it zero high school organization program of events so let's copy this as first that the first you know in a page to lay so let's make a copy of that cut good so let's go over to our corridor so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just copy the uh, that you know outside by uh, selecting your uh, test tool then you try to have a test range then you copy then you hit on control v to paste you know the dialogue pops up asking you maintain font and format let's leave it as that then you hit ok wait a while for that bam can you see that it's copied and paste right into the corridor so right now the next step right now is to work on this so right now let's move this in first so let's go ahead and change the fonts to uh we are going to make use of let's make use of uh futura t futura t good so right now what we are going to do is to head over and cut this Upper layer, control hex, then control V to paste outside uh, the page. So right now we are going to go ahead and just let's create a background for all this. So let's move on and just make a copy of this, you know, uh, logo right here. Good. So we're gonna have this at the top. Make a copy of that. Control G group then let's make a copy of this test which uh, is being designed you know previously so right now what we're going to be doing is to make this one line so go ahead and eat uh, on group all then go ahead let's delete the underlay of the test then let's add this you know combine together combine good can you see that 
So right now what we are going to do is to reduce this a bit drastically. Let's have it reduce just like so. Position it to the angle. So right now we're gonna have uh, this uh, anniversary reunion, shop reunion reduced a less over and just make a copy of the background just like so when you get to the destination you right click automatically copy paste and squeeze it a little bit so let's go ahead and just make this it a, a darker color go over to your color dropper to click on that and sum uh sample the, this color right here then you pour it on this uh object good so right now what we're gonna be doing is to hit control page at play down your keyboard you're gonna have it behind this good good so right now what we're gonna be doing is to reduce it a bit good so we have to create a magic right here what we need to do is to right click then come back to curve let's come back to curve then you go ahead to your shape tool double click right here to add a lot then let's add this you know stretch out just like so good so we are going to make a copy of this layer then hold shift key select the other one then hit and hit c and e to center it all up make a copy forward again with your control key hold down and right click copy paste then hold shift key select the other one so let's trim that trim let's delete this good so what we are going to do right now is to add uh what's it called gradient effect to that with the help of uh what's it called you know interactive view tool then you go over and select this so let's use our color dropper to right from here sample this you know uh group right here good then you go over to the next one which is this so let's give it select it the select here select your color dropper tool then let's have this to be lighter color of that gold good nice go outside so let's click outside good wait a while for that to initiate good can you see that select it both together and set out right to none likewise this set out right to none there you have that good so what we are going to be doing now is to make the background lighter color so let's go ahead and just have this you know let's sample this color right here green color white on the background there you have that good so what we are going to do we are not going to leave this plain just like this we just have to apply you know what they call uh, a kind of uh, pattern to uh, differentiate you know the look so that it won't look simple so let's go over to the downloaded uh, image which I've downloaded so let's go over to uh, the file so here are the new folder so right now we are going to make use of uh, a object that will uh, change the look of the you know uh, object so let's drag this let's make use of this good so let's go ahead and just add this so let's convert this to a uh, grayscale convert to bitmap then choose right from this choose the grayscale it's okay good so let's go ahead and select the uh, what's it called transparency tool then go over to the stage change the blending mode to screen there you are can you see that so right now let's park with this into place good can you see that i just start a little bit good good can you see that so right now what we need to do now is to go ahead and create you know an object just like so at the middle then we're gonna have to give this white the set of line to none then let's go over uh, to uh what's it called uh transparency to click on that then you go ahead and choose the blending mode no uh go over to this place and click on uniform transparency you're gonna have it just like so good so 
let's make it a bit you know thick good good so right now what we need us to do is to go ahead and just have this you know blend with this area let's give it right alignment good so right now let's hold shift key hold control key then tap on paint down keyboard there you have that behind the test so right now let's arrange the test go ahead then uh, let's use connect both good so right now we are going to lay emphasis on this general high school hospitalization enter right from here good so let's hit control k to break into pieces we are going to lay emphasis on the general high school old high school let's put student our session enter right from here and hit ok hit control k and keyboard to break into pieces then let's go ahead and just lay emphasis on this good make this a bit you know older then you go ahead let's have this program of events 40th anniversary good can you see that so let's go ahead and create you know an object across that it's just gonna be just like this then you go ahead and apply go to the center back then let's have a uh, graph line to be known then let's go ahead and zoom down what we need uh, to do is to make that you know gold or better still let's go ahead to our uh, you know go ahead over two then let's sample this color right here for it then you can see that so let's leave this as white then you go ahead and adjust the space go ahead to this as well select your shape tool then give space within it so let's go ahead and give it right alignment likewise the top one right alignment good so right now what we're gonna be doing is to just you know let's have this close up just like so we're gonna have to give it a space right here you know individually good you can see that you can see that you just have to tap on your uh, space bar uh, tab uh, your tab on your keyboard automatically you're gonna have this effect you know tab select tab select tab click tab you can see that good so these are the what's it called the program so let's have a stretch out because it's a little bit it's it's shipped up so let's go ahead to our what's it called ship to click on that then let's have the let's have it you know uh, spaced up can you see that good nice so we'll be close now let's give it right alignment that's nice good can you see that shoot that up good so right now what we're gonna be doing is to have uh, let's create a base in which uh, we are going to put in our brain let's go ahead and select an object create an object as I so let's get up uh, you know uh, gold so set our right to none so right now what we're gonna be doing uh, actually if you are designing a program or a magazine you just have to be creative you have to think fast on how to go about it and what effect to use and uh, what trick to really put in place and all of that so right now what you need to do is to go over and to uh, click on uh, transparency tool so let's drag on this object just like so to add effect to that good can you see that so right now what you have to do now is to click once again then let's have it you know duplicate rotate it just like so when you get your destination you right click automatically copy paste so right now what you have to do next to repeat that same task you just have to uh hold on 
control key and keyboard and tap on arrow for a repeat automatically you're gonna have that way to read just like so good can you see that good so right now what we need to do is to group it all up then let's go over and create an object on top just like so good you're gonna have to give that you know that symbol then go ahead and set up line to none so what you need to do is to make a copy of that then make the the other one white so right now let's pull this up a little bit then let's have this beaded out good can you see that so let's set all of this within each other can you see that group it set it all up with the object good there you have it you know mapped out good so can you see that right now let me give it a full outlook you can you see how it looks so right now let's move on to the next stage so what you need to do now is to make a copy of this object ctrl c then hit on this plus to uh, create a next page automatically it creates a next page for you so right now let's control v to paste that so what we are going to do now is to just delete all of this let's delete delete this as well so we are left with this so right now what we are going to do now is to go ahead to have uh, what's it called let's create and hold there just like so to have the make it white set outline to none then let's go over and make a copy inward so what we are going to do right now is to select the outer one let's keep this you know a uh, gray scale let's go over to your uh, shape tool let's hold control key then let's drag this in to have this effect likewise this go in there and uh, drag in what just like so good can you see that good so let's move on to the down part of control key so we're gonna have to leave that as it is so right now what we are going to do is to bring in the uh what's it called president so let's park with this into place good so this is the president of the what's it called the anniversary so let's look for our name so let's go on to uh the documents so, so right now let's open the hub good so let's go ahead and locate that so here are the two names of these uh, people so this is this is it Abiyodu Ishama Planning Committee Russia the, the president let's got that good so let's go back to color draw so right now what I'm going to do is to just paste the test just like so it's why it's okay go ahead and let's make use of this this is the president name princess for Russia de Clara control hex then let's go over to uh, on the uh, name on the picture control B to paste so right now what you need to do is to just let's give it uh, Futura go ahead and hit control K to break it into pieces good so let's have this center then let's go ahead and break this name into two 
said I to Allah good so let's add this to be change the font to connect bold it's okay make it bigger a bit good send I to Allah good can you see that Good. So select the whole thing then go ship key center it within the picture. Can you see that? So let's give it a breathing space a bit. Good. Nice. So right now let's make a copy. Control C then you hit on plus right here to add a uh, page control V to paste then extract it, this content right click on the object then look at extract contents let's delete that so let's bring in this very man this is the uh, chairman make it bold a bit then make it bold a bit then let's position it this way good so right now what we need to do is to drag the name very close then let's have this deleted right from here good hit ctrl k to break it into pieces then right drag this on top of the name copy our properties then let's have that align with the previous one let's delete that this then let's go ahead I make the what's it called chairman yes to uh, the same font as president give it top alignment just like so good so right now let's send it all up with the picture there we have nice one good so our next step right now is to make a copy then let's go ahead it on uh, this plus then contribute to paste so let's delete the whole thing good so right now what we need to do is to go over to locate the speech where is the speech speech for the president okay this is the speech for the president let's make a copy of that good so let's go to control x then let's go over to color draw so right now we are going to paste this right here so go ahead to your test to let's have a test range just like so then control v to paste then let's go ahead and have this you know to be futura t so right now what we're going to be doing is to go ahead and have uh, this picture that i downloaded that we're going to make use of so it portray uh what's it called speech so right now let's have this reduce bits good so let's give it a left alignment then let's convert to bitmap then let's have it to be rgb it okay good so right now what we need to do now is to have a uh, the uh what's it called the president picture in place so right now let's create president picture right here good so what we're going to be doing is to make it white then let's go over and have a picture there so let's go ahead and tra I drag a picture into that so let's make it a bit bigger Good. 
set outline to white then you hit F12 so let's make it a uh, 7 check on behind shield scale with object then you hit ok good so right now what we need to do now I think this doesn't make sense so let's delete this this is out of it so let's go ahead and just you know drag this up so right now what we need to do is to make the top side uh, this blue this blue then let's power clip this into place good so let's adjust good can you see that so let's bring in the uh what's it called the test so we are going to make it three column this is the first column right here then let's go over and drag that so right now you can see indication right here if you see something like this that shows that there's more to hit there's more test in there click then let's zoom down let's drag to uh, pull out the rest of the test just like so center it all up with the previous one then let's give it uh, a very uh, accurate alignment just like so then let's zoom down so let's uh, pull it up just like so then let's drag it out then it's more to the test so click on the arrow then drag good let's go ahead and have it aligned with each other squeeze it a bit a bit good so let's have that aligned to the third line good can you see that give it top alignment then let's go ahead and squeeze it a bit to have it you know aligned up good can you see that so let's reduce this a bit good so right now all we need that to do is to go ahead and uh, make a copy of the heading this has to be bold ctrl hex then paste right here good so right now let's go ahead and give it you know connect bold make it white so right now let's lay emphasis on this you know so fellow alumni blah 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 so right now let's just enter right from here good good so right now let's make it bold good can you see that So right now all we need that to do is to just squeeze this a bit so there should be a uh, different in between the uh, what's it called the top design and the what's it called the uh, main body so right now can you see that so right now let's adjust this a bit then let's make it uh full justification then let's go ahead and uh, drop this let it be uh, drop cap right there good so right now let's make it 12 points it's okay good can you see that so we're gonna have to adjust all the test bits good so I can have clear look so right now let's just have this to be left alignment then let's have it you know uh, drop down a bit then let's pull in that's good good that is nice so let's zoom up 
Can you see that? So here we come to the end to ride. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by, by clicking on the button to subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far. Can you see the pages? You know, or that we've uh, laid so far and the design, you know, at the background. So, uh, don't forget to really share this video and uh, let me have uh, your say in the comment section below and try and uh, come up with something like this on your own, you know. So, as always, in my channel, see you in the next video. Bye for now.